Okay, today we're going to be talking about our new spectrophotometer, our new DR3900. Um, we were using the 2800. Um, between our three labs, we needed a new uh, spectrophotometer. So I got the new 3900. The uh, 2800 that we have here is going to go and uh, get factory clean to Cal, and it's going to be our new rotating uh, spectrophotometer between our three labs. Okay, so we have our new 3900, uh, we just turn it on. Um, it's going to go through a system check just like the uh, 2800 did. Um, something that uh, we always want to remember with our lab equipment, especially our spectrophotometer, it's a very expensive piece of equipment. So it's important that when it's not being used, uh, keep the door clean, okay? And that's going to keep the light cell inside uh, from getting dirty and uh, dusty. And that's gonna change your could change your test results. So make sure to keep your uh, spectrophotometer clean. Okay. So just like the uh, DR2800, if you go to store programs, um, it has all the uh, programs that we uh, that we use, all the programs that Hawk has. Um, and what I did already is I went and I put into our favorites all the uh, tests that we do at the plants every day. So any test that you need is already there. Um, so basically you just pick your test, hit start, there's a timer there, and you hit okay, right? And that starts your timer. Um, the biggest difference between these two uh, units, between the DR3900 and 2800, is when we used to put the sample cell in the 2800, the line, the 10 ml line, we turn to the right when we put it in uh, the sample holder, okay? That always went to the right. On the 3900, we're gonna put it facing towards you, okay? So instead of to the right, have it face towards you when you put that in the sample cell, okay? And you're gonna close that and you're gonna either hit zero or you're gonna hit read, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. Now, once, uh, once you use it for a while and you get some tests in there, there's a cool little uh, trends button there. You can hit trends on whatever test that you're doing and it'll show you a trend of the last uh, uh, test that you, uh, you've been doing and uh, give you an idea of what you're doing. Um, you can hit recall data and uh, it'll show you the last so many tests um, that were done. And uh, so great, a great tool. And um, if you have any questions, give me a call.